and Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton on the inside, trying to get a bet on Kimi Raikkonen, has been made contact with and is bouncing over the kerb, as is Nico Hulkenberg, back there with the Renault as well. Charles Leclerc leads them down through a rouge from Hamilton, and Vettel and Bottas in fourth. Behind Bottas comes Verstappen, and we see them now on the Kemmel straight. A long lead there for Charles Leclerc. Here comes Sebastian Vettel again. He's going wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton. The Ferrari is ahead and into second place as Bottas tucks behind his teammate into fourth. And that is out. That is Max Verstappen out already. And you can hear the groans. Let's have a look here. On the inside, Raikkonen and Verstappen, that's where the contact was made there. That could well have damaged the uh, steering rod. Uh, that's the risk of La Source. Max will have to take the blame for that one, I'm afraid. He's got, look, you can see his steering's not activating as it is. It goes at the top of the hill. Well, he nearly took somebody else with him. Ferrari, Ferrari, Mercedes, Mercedes. Charles Leclerc ahead of Sebastian Vettel. No lock-up so far. Going through the chicane, Lando Norris is in fifth. Ahead of the two houses and then the racing point of Sergio Perez. And Leclerc doing very nicely indeed to pull as big a gap as he possibly can as his teammate Sebastian Vettel locks up. And that could cost him dear going into the source. Lewis Hamilton's already on his tail. Now just pulls into uh, the behind the rear wing of the Ferrari to get the slipstream as they begin. Give the climb up, Randy, on and along the Kemmel straight. Charles Leclerc leads the Belgian Grand Prix. That is a brilliant camera angle showing the speed of these cars. It's Bottas quick, though. Bottas has got the slipstream on Hamilton rather than Hamilton on Vettel. But Hamilton's got it covered. So he must have had a little bit of a moment in the middle of Eau Rouge. Is he close enough to have a a challenge on Kevin Magnussen here he is going to have a go diving down the inside is Alex Albon I think Magnussen made that quite easy for him but it was nice to see that when the opportunity was there he went for it Pierre Gasly giving it everything uh, with Sergio Perez Kimi Raikkonen is just ahead we're back on board with a Toro Rosso it could be Hacken and Schumacher and Ricardo Zonta all over again this time it's Perez ahead of Gasly ahead of Raikkonen on lap 19 of this Belgian Grand Prix and the standing ovation in memory of Antoine Hubert. We tragically lost that rising star this weekend here at Spa. Leclerc then 6.3 seconds ahead now as these two fight over second place and Hamilton's much closer. Here he comes, Lewis Hamilton. You can hear the cheers from some of the British fans waving the Hamilton flags. He pulls out alongside Sebastian Vettel. He pulls ahead of Sebastian Vettel. And there was the cheer from the fans that have made it over from the UK. Hamilton is up to second place. So Ricardo looking to see which way Fiat's going. He pushes him as far to the left-hand side as he possibly can. He couldn't uh, defend and keep the place. He stays ahead of Alex Albon as Pierre Gasly now has Grosjean and then Giovinazzi who pitted last of all behind him. And Albon's going to go the long way. Round Rivage going wheel to wheel with Daniel Ricardo. Not often you see a move happening there. No name corner is next. That's bold if he's going to go past Ricardo there. Ricardo might look back on that one day and appreciate it, but he probably doesn't now. No, I was just about to say, you need to get up very early in the morning to go around the outside of Daniel Ricardo, and Alex Albon was clearly up early this morning. Crack it all. That was a great <laughs> move. Excellent. That will go down very well with the Red Bull boys. Absolutely. And girls. <laughs> well, and there goes Hulkenberg uh, on Grosjean. And he's gone wheel to wheel. And could Nico Hulkenberg tipped as the man to replace Romain Grosjean next season. We're getting a close look at the house. Lance Stroll moves through and an opportune movement from him as well. Hamilton now through the middle sector is throwing down an epic challenge. They all want Hamilton's crown, but he's not going to be easily beaten, is he? He never gives up. Charles Leclerc standing on the top of the podium for the first time ever would be a pretty good high. That is the Alfa Romeo of Antonio Giovinazzi and he's gone off at Puon. He dropped it mid-corner, that's unusual. Yeah. Antonio, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Brilliant. Brilliant news, that's what I wanted to hear. 
Ferrari came here with the advantage on paper. It's not been plain sailing on the asphalt, but Charles Leclerc can now see the chequered flag. And for the first time ever, Charles Leclerc wins a Formula One Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc wins the Belgian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton is second. Valtteri Bottas will come home for third. Norris was stopped on the line as well. Yeah. I'm losing power, it's going. Uh, keep going, keep going for now. Keep I going. can't, it's broken. It's broken. It's I'm... off. Well, this is Alex Albon going onto the grass to get past Sergio Perez. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, this one is for Antoine. It feels good, but yeah, difficult to enjoy on a weekend like this. Charles Leclerc, who didn't get past the first corner last season, got past every corner today to win the Belgian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton extends his championship lead. It's a weekend to acknowledge the, the one we've lost and the one that we've found. Antoine